A picture is worth a thousand words, the saying goes. Well, maybe that's a slight exaggeration, but when designing a signage system for a store or service business, pictures come in very handy. I discovered this when I conducted a study to optimize the signage system of a large supermarket chain for elderly consumers. In this experiment, we asked senior citizens to search for several products in that store and measured how long it took them to find all of them. To make the task easier, we put signs in each aisle that had both a verbal description of the products found in the aisle and the picture of a typical product. For example, a sign would read snacks and simultaneously display a pack of potato chips. Another sign would read hair care and display a shampoo. We noticed that seniors found the requested product significantly quicker when the information on the sign was presented in both verbal and pictorial form than when we used traditional text-only signs. Most interestingly, it wasn't just senior citizens who found products more easily when the signs contained both words and pictures. The advantage of signs with both words and pictures also extended to young consumers. This finding can be explained by the dual coding theory. Consumers mentally process and retrieve information more easily and efficiently when information is presented in both verbal and pictorial form. Verbal and nonverbal information is stored in separate but related systems in people's long-term memory. It's easier for a consumer to quickly grasp the meaning of a sign if both the verbal and the visual system are engaged. In fact, in many ways pictures are superior to verbal signs because they tend to be more easily perceived, processed and retrieved. But to reap the full benefit of dual coding, use a combination of both words and pictures. Consequently, I advise to incorporate pictures in a store signage system like the one you can see in this picture. Even if your chairman is a little rusty, I'm sure you have no problem figuring out that this is the aisle where pickles can be found. This shows that pictures are also useful for communicating with culturally and linguistically diverse consumers. It helps, of course, to have bilingual store signs, for example, English and Spanish. But pictures can be added to these signs to further facilitate understanding. When designing signs, you should also consider illiterate and functionally illiterate consumers. For example, it is estimated that about 20% of the population in developed countries is functionally illiterate. Their reading ability is very limited, below that of a fifth grader. Consequently, simple words and, of course, pictures should be used on signs whenever possible. Okay, to sum it all up, it makes a lot of sense to use both text and pictures on store signs.